Hey MA heads, my name is Ray Jaden. You wanna see what I had for lunch? I don't know either, so let's see. Ugh. What is this? I made this food like 10 years ago. I don't really know why I decided to make this video, but I did. So today I'm going to review Starfield with food. For me, Starfield is like when a chef that so many people love is opening up a new restaurant that he and the fans are hyping up to be a restaurant like no other. A groundbreaking restaurant that has a way to cook food that no one else has, with new recipes that have never even been tried before. Now, I've been to the chef's other restaurants and I haven't been too impressed. Some were alright and others I didn't really care about. But this one was hyped to be the best restaurant ever. So I decided to go. My expectations aren't set super high due to prior experience with the chef, but a part of me hoped that this restaurant is the one that breaks the cycle of me not liking the chef, so I finally understand the big deal about him. I get there and get to a table. I can see the kitchen from there, and something that catches my eye is the oven. It looks so pristine and clean, but wait a second, that's an old ass oven from the 1900s. It probably still works, but it's outdated and an upgrade is probably necessary. Oh well, I should probably wait for the food. Before I order the course, Chef Todd Howard comes to my table and says that the staff offers a complimentary five-course appetizer before I can even order my main course. A little strange, but I accept. And here comes the appetizers. Five big plates. One plate of wings, one of garlic bread, one of rolls, one of freshly made chips, and a final plate of jalapeno poppers. All the food looks good, so I take a sample of each appetizer first, and they're not that great. At best, the wings were mediocre, and at worst, the bread was bad. How'd you make bad bread? I was not impressed, and while the overall experience wasn't bad, these appetizers were massive, and I had to eat all of them before I could even get to the main course. Which, apparently the main courses are really good, but are they worth it if I have to eat through five huge appetizers I don't like? So I give up. It's not worth the time and money to eat appetizers I don't like to get to the possibly good main course. I tell Chef Howard that I don't like the food, he says it just works, whatever the fuck that means, and I leave. Now, eating at Starfield's Family Diner wasn't the worst experience I had at a restaurant this year, but the community built around it needs to let go. I've seen others share their opinion on the food there with similar opinions to me, and they get harassed. I understand why people like the food here, but I just don't, and it's kinda scary to share that opinion. And the people that say, oh, you just didn't eat enough, have a horrible point. You shouldn't have to eat through appetizers that aren't good to get to the main courses. Sure, not all the food here is bad, but it doesn't make the restaurant good if you're forced to eat five mediocre appetizers beforehand. And the worst part, it was hyped to be the best restaurant and completely different from the competition. And it just isn't. The food has the same recipes as the other restaurants by Chef Todd Howard. And there's a restaurant across the street that has similar recipes, but they're cooked way better. Now, what if I went to a restaurant that I hate, but got a dish that blew my mind and tasted so good? Imagine if there was an alternate version of Burger King, with no differences other than the name and one new dish. And I fucking hate Burger King. This alternate version is called Strategy King. It's strategy games, if you couldn't tell. I go there, and it's not good. There's some stuff that I can see the appeal of, but nothing appeals to me. But there's one dish on the menu that I hear a small group of people talk about occasionally, and they praise it a lot, even if it's only a small group of people. So I decided to go back to Strategy King and order the Pikmin Ravioli, and it is delicious. There's a few inconsistencies with the ravioli and some minor nitpicks, but it's a great dish. Made in a restaurant I despise, and it's also not an Italian restaurant, it's fucking Burger King, how is this their best meal? So I go back another time and get the same dish, and it's exceptional again, and it tastes a little better. And this intrigues me, so I go back again and it tastes even better, and then I go for a fourth time and it tastes incredible. That to me is the Pikmin franchise, and Pikmin 4, RTS games I genuinely love, and I don't really like strategy games. So it can be done! Chef Howard just hasn't done it this time. This turned into a Pikmin 4 review, why did that happen?